Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The singer Monica is officially a divorcee because she just finalized her divorce from her husband, well her ex-husband Shannon Brown. There were some pictures of her that were leaked to TMZ of her walking out of a courthouse and it seemed like she was in good spirits because she was smiling. So it's apparent that Monica is happy to be moving on with her life. But this whole story is kind of bittersweet because Monica and Shannon Brown have been married for almost nine years. They first met each other in 2010 on the set of Monica's video, Love All Over Me. And they got married after only dating for six months. Four years after they got married, they did welcome a child together named Leah Brown and they all seemed like they were just a happy blended family. However, Monica and Shannon's marriage had been plagued with infidelity rumors. During the time Monica was married to Shannon, Shannon was still playing in the NBA, and of course he did have some access to other groupies and side chicks, allegedly. And some blog sites did report that Shannon was DMing other women on social media, and he also allegedly had an extramarital affair. Now, Monica never really confirmed whether or not there was cheating going on, but she did make an interesting post saying this. I have lots of feelings and beliefs that I often keep to myself. I decide to share them on my album chapter 38. Here's one. I hate to hear women and men say that whomever their spouse cheated with is the reason you're all apart. In truth, it was the choice of your spouse that cheated that's at fault. It's your man or woman's job to respect and honor you. Am I right or not? Laugh out loud, hashtag that's how I feel. So Monica didn't directly say that there was some infidelity in her marriage, but from this post, one can assume that she might have been hinting at it and she was making it clear that the blame should always be placed on the spouse who cheats, not necessarily the side piece or the mistress. But once again, we don't really know if cheating is the reason why Monica and Shannon broke up. Monica could have filed for divorce for other reasons as well. And in some of her interviews, she did talk about what led her to leave Shannon in the first place. We were married, what, almost nine years? Mm -hmm. And I think life changes really got the best of both of us at times. You know, I take accountability for what my party is. I'm a very um, outspoken woman, you know, and I'm learning how to be more of a listener, mm -hmm. you know, than just speaking what I feel because he also went through a lot of different life changes. You know, he survived a major car accident, mm -hmm. but that also changed the course of, you know, what's happening career wise. So he planned a big three doing other stuff. And I think that, it took a toll because I probably didn't have enough around us mm -hmm. to help us just facilitate what needed to happen. But, you know, it is what it is. Divorce is not being easy. I don't hate him. See, I just grew up. That's apart. different. Yeah, I don't I don't hate him. Right. I think there's a difference when you walk away from something and you real mad. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, was, I mean, I know it wasn't no infidelity because black men don't cheat. So I figured that's that a damn I lie. I don't even know why y'all keep this going. That's just foolish. What? Not the Shannon part. The black men don't cheat part. Doing, it's just hey, foolish. What are you doing, man? Now, no. now, with him leaving the league, did that affect when he got injured? Because if you do something since you were five years old, play basketball. Yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden you can't. That had to have an effect on the relationship, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Any. I mean, you, you got to factor all of that in. You know what I'm saying? And then when you got children, we're not just working for ourselves. Right. You know, he and I both are working to make sure that they have everything that they need. Mm -hmm. And you establish a lifestyle for them. You don't want that to ever have to change. So, of course. How do you know when it's over, though? Because I'm thinking about it from the perspective I'm, of a married man. Like, how yeah. do you know when it's over? Like, you know what? Like, we can't even just go into the other room and then talk about this later. Like, it's done, done. I don't think you ever get to a point where you understand um, that that is the case. I think actions start to show. Mm hmm that it, that that it, that it's come to an end more than anything to me mm -hmm. because it's never a time I don't ever remember feeling like oh this is the end but I do remember feeling like why can't we get along why mm -hmm. can't we figure this one situation in particular out why is that repetitively happening that is what stood out more to me than anything else because I definitely feel like that'll always be somebody that I love. Mm -hmm. And see, to me, it's weird when I see people, they spend all these years together, and then when they're apart, 
everything that comes out of your mouth is negative. Yeah. I just don't feel like that about Shannon. I think people are waiting for this moment where, what's she going to say? What's going to happen? It was the same thing being on TV at the same time. I'm like, I honestly don't feel like that, you know? And I feel like we do our kids an injustice when you're running around talking about the person mm -hmm. that is a part of them even walking the earth. Like, that's crazy to me. So my whole way of looking at stuff is so different than most people. But I think what happens is when you realize you, you're not finding a way to work through things, that's more what happened mm -hmm. than anything else. Yeah. We're not feuding or beefing or anything at all. Just peaceful. It's really been peaceful because- He's still living in the house with both you? Both of us are comfortable with speaking. You understand? I, no, I know exactly. You know, what sometimes you're it gets too quiet, mm -hmm. and it, it had gotten too quiet. You know, you get to nine years, that we we made it through some of the trenches. You yes. know, so yeah. now we're communicating. Because you had the now. reality show and everything, so I kind of think. Because and I watched the reality show. Well, the reality show started taking too. place before the divorce did. Oh. Had that been going on, I would not have been on the show. But since I was already there, and I did make a commitment not to just myself, but to two of my really close friends. You don't just walk away because something's happening with you. I'm not on the show alone. So real life happened and I didn't. Were you fighting behind the scenes while the show was being taped? Like, did you see the first season, trouble hell in paradise? No. Hell no. Uh -huh. The first season, absolutely not. And that was the problem. Maybe we didn't fight enough. You know, maybe it was, we both are so busy yeah, that was, you can occupy show. You yourself. had the kids. Yeah, and it was fun. The first yeah. season, none of this was happening. Let's be clear. Then what happened second season? A lot of stuff. So those were Monica's comments about her marriage and she didn't really go into detail, but she kind of gave you an idea of what really happened. She did touch on the financial aspect. When Shannon left the NBA, the finances went down. Not only that, there was a disconnect and they couldn't agree on things. And sometimes when there's a disconnect, it can lead to infidelity. And when Monica filmed the second season of T.I. and Tiny Family and Friends Hustle, there was a lot that happened which made Monica just throw her hands up and walk away from the marriage. And she didn't say what it was, but it had to be something for her to just decide that she no longer wants to be married to Shannon. But it seems as if Shannon himself is not ready to let go of Monica because I notice he's making comments under her Instagram post trying to get her attention. <laughs> Monica uploaded this picture on Instagram and he responded and said, that stare does something to me. Also, she posted another picture and Shannon Brown put a bunch of heart eye emojis. Also, Shannon Brown posted a picture of him and Monica together and he put in his caption, when people don't know to mind their own business. So apparently Shannon still has some feelings for Monica, but Monica has moved on and their relationship is officially a wrap. If Shannon really wants Monica, he's gonna have to work super hard to get her back. And sometimes a person has to make drastic decisions like divorcing somebody just to let them know that they're serious. And if they wanna be with them, they have to learn how to act right. So it's possible that this might be Monica's way of testing Shannon and letting him know that if he really wants to be with her, he's gonna have to make some serious changes and he's gonna have to prove himself. But right now, Monica has made her decision that she's done with him and her divorce has been finalized. So she's not looking back at this point. And I really do wish the best for Monica and her whole family. I know this is a difficult transition for her and her kids, but she seems to be taking everything well. Now, I do wanna move on and talk about Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj officially tied the knot on October 21st. She married her boyfriend, Kenneth Petty, and she and Kenneth Petty have been dating for less than a year, but they previously knew each other when they were younger. So they did rekindle their romance later on in life. And now Nicki is a married woman. And honestly, I am happy for Nicki, even though I don't care for Kenneth Petty, I really don't, but he seems to be making her happy and she really loves him. One thing I will say though, I hope Nicki has a prenup in place because Nicki makes the money in her relationship. She financially provides for Kenneth Petty. So I do hope that she's at least protecting her finances. But that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.